Questo modulo Be solid, sir. The testimony about to give you the call stop and for the court. To the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I'll do that. Yes, Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Can you please state your name? Angela Mahoney. What is your current occupation? I work for the Green County Sheriff's Office. And what's your current capacity with the Green County Sheriff's Office? I work in the Transportation Expedition Unit. And what's your current rank? What is your current rank? Corporal. Oh. And what do you do? What does the Transportation Expedition Unit do? I travel across the state picking up inmates that have from different prisons or that have wards for the rest. Okay. And how long have you had this current position? A little over a year. What did you do for the Sheriff's Office uh, prior to your current position? I worked for the Criminal Investigations Division as a detective. And were you assigned to a particular unit? Mainly major crimes or crimes against children. And how long were you uh, a detective in the Criminal Investigations Unit? Seven and a half years. Prior to that, did you work for the Sheriff's Office doing something else? Yes, sir. And what was that? I worked in patrol and I also worked in the jail. So how many total uh, years have you worked for the Green County Sheriff's Office? Eighteen. And specifically in, in your work in criminal investigations, did you receive specific training about interviewing uh, suspects of crimes? Yes, sir. What kind of training did you have? I went to the Reed interview and interrogation. I've also attended uh, various trainings at other municipalities on interviews. And based on that training, are there multiple ways that you can approach an interview to a suspect? Yes, sir. What are the, some of the different uh, ways that you can approach? You can be kind and speak to them, or you can, I guess, be more aggressive. The goal is just to get the facts of whatever you're investigating. And specifically for you, do you kind of have a particular style that you use when you interview suspects? I do. Okay, what is that? I'm usually pleasant and kind and just have a conversation. Do you typically kind of go through a rapport building stage? Yes, sir. And what's the purpose of doing that? It, it allows you to kind of see the person, their, their mannerisms or the way they react to questions. It allows both me and the person I'm interviewing to calm down and just kind of relax a little bit, kind of get to know a little bit about the person. And during that, you kind of mentioned that you have a, a pleasant style, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And is that, do you keep that style regardless of how serious of a crime the person is a suspect in? Typically. Okay. And why is it beneficial, even if someone is suspected of doing something serious, to maybe downplay it or, or minimize it, act like it's not as serious? Well, because I'm, when I'm interviewing someone, I'm there to get the facts of the case. I'm not there to punish them or remind them of what they did. Just I just want the facts. So I'd like to call your attention to June 14. Of 2015. Were you working on that day? Yes, sir. And at some point, did you become involved in a case that involved a homicide of Claudine Blanchard? Yes, sir. Can you, what initially kind of brought you into the case? How did you get involved? Uh, my supervisor contacted me and started giving me some assignments to contact people. Um, and ultimately, um, my assignment was to go to Waukesha. County, Wisconsin, and interview Nicholas Governor. And do you re recall uh, when you went to Waukesha County, what date, what date that was? I believe it was on the 15th, but I didn't actually get to interview until a little after midnight on the 16th. Okay. And had you become aware that he was in custody there in Waukesha County? Yes, sir. And did you travel alone, or did someone, uh, did another investigator go? Detective Hancock, Sam Hancock, was he the lead detective in this case? Yes, sir. 
Now, when you got to Waukesha County, did you more or less go pretty quickly to the jail where uh, Mr. Godershawn was being held? Yes, I went to the sheriff's office. Okay, sheriff's office, sorry. And what was, you said that um, Detective Hancock was there too. If you were interviewing Mr. Godishon, what was uh, Detective Hancock, what was his role? His role was to interview um, Gypsy and uh, and to monitor my interview while I was interviewing Ms. Godishon. And by the time you you made it to uh, the Waukesha County Sheriff's Office, uh, were you aware that uh, Mr. Godijan had been waiting for several hours? Yes, sir. So given that, uh, did you ask any questions or make any inquiry about what his condition was before you uh, did your interview? Yes, sir. I just I asked the uh, detectives that were there just if he had eaten, had anything to drink, used the restroom, kind of what his mannerisms were. And, and why was it important for you to know or make sure that he was he had had those kinds of breaks and food and water and things like that. Just to kind of judge the stress or distress maybe. Where was specifically uh, Mr. Godijan being held at the sheriff's office when you arrived? In an interview room. And is that where you first made contact with him? Yes, sir. And the individual, Mr. Godijan, that you uh, interviewed, do you see him here today? Yes, sir. Can you just point to where he's sitting and what color shirt is? He's sitting there. He's got a tan colored shirt on. Your Honor, would the record reflect the witnesses identified the defendant? It is so reflect. When you got into the interview room, uh, what was what did you notice about the defendant's kind of demeanor initially? Um, he was pleasant. He um, answered my questions. We talked about. He had a blanket. Um, he was handcuffed. He was kind. Okay. And did he did he appear to be in any kind of uh, distress or anything when you first made contact with him? No. Now, prior to asking him questions, did you advise him of his Miranda rights? Yes, sir. And did you use anything to assist you in doing that? Yes. What What did you use? Uh, Green County Miranda form. And was this interview recorded? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And is it fair and accurate of your interview with the defendant? Yes, sir. And have you marked it in a way that you can remember that this is the one you watched? Yes, sir. Okay. And is that your initials right there? Yes, sir. Then showing you here State Specific 146, do you recognize what that is? Yes, sir. That's the Green County Miranda form. And is this the original? Yes, sir. Okay. And is this the, uh, the form that you went over, uh, Mr. Go to John's to Miranda Rice with? Yes, sir. And other than obviously it being a package, is it in the same or substantially same condition as when you filled it out? Yes, sir. Your Honor, the state would seek to admit states exhibits 146 and 149. I, I apologize. I was looking through the plastic. 149 and 150. The Miranda form is 150. I'm mistaken. You said it was 146. Judge, we would object to states exhibits 149 and 150 being introduced into evidence based upon the reason for them over. And may states exhibit 149 be published? Yes. Now, before they do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't if you aren't able to see it, let me know. We can turn it up or move the screen or we can move the chairs. It lasts about an hour and a half, as I understand it. 
So after probably about an hour, we're going to take a break, just so you don't get uncomfortable. If you need one before that hour break occurs, let me know, okay? Yes, sir. Detective, you want, you can step down while this plays unless you're going to be pointing at things while it's playing. Uh, no. You would be a lot more comfortable than sitting right there being the best by the speaker. Or would you like for me to sit? Somewhere? Oh, just really on the front row if you want to. You can sit. You can sit over here if you like, whatever the chair is. Whatever's comfy. You can move it, you can move it over here behind. Those benches get a little hot after a while. As the jury has found out. <laughs> Can everybody see the screen? Hello. 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 You've been here a long time waiting for me to get here. I tried to get here as fast as I could. Are you tired? Uh, I have to stay away the entire time. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you, and I guess you said you wanted to talk to me, so yeah. I'm going to yeah. All right, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah. You probably want to know what's going on with Jim Yeah. Okay, I'm going to answer your questions for you. Did you get something to eat? Uh, no, they offered that to me. Did you get meat? Uh, I ate something before that. Okay, what did you eat? Uh, uh, the cold ham sandwiches. I guess they are uh, for that with uh, mayonnaise as well. Oh, wow. do you like mayonnaise? Well, I told them I can do a long way though, so I just said I didn't manage it. But now I just like the long way because I've been like, so worried to see what you see. Okay, we're going to talk about you see. Yeah. We'll talk about you see, okay? Okay. Because um, I know you've got a lot of questions, and I want to answer your questions, and I want to talk to you, and um, see what's going on. Okay. okay. Before I do, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights. Have you ever been read your Miranda rights before? Uh, it sounds nice. Sometimes they do it on TV, and but the way I do it's going to be a little different than probably what you see on TV, but it's probably about the same, okay? All right. Can you read and write? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions I already know the answers to, and that's one of them. I know you can read and write, so whenever I'm talking to you, I'm going to ask you some questions I already know the answers to, okay? Okay. okay. Can you fill out this top part for me? Sure. You got handcuffs on? Yes, I do. You care if we take them off? Would you make yeah, more comfortable? No, these are fine. Okay. Because I... These things are... Have you been on a long time? I've had this the entire time. Okay. Let's take them off so you can get a little more comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I've been waiting for that for a long time. Alright. Mm -hmm. This says Nicholas. You go by Nick. Nicholas, something different? Um, I prefer, uh, usually by my family I'll be called Nicholas, but by friends and uh, other people I usually be called Nick. What would you like for me to call you when I talk about uh, Nick. Nick, okay. I'll do it. That's your address. Okay. Oh, jeez. A little too much. I'm trying to think of, uh, you know, I include my, uh, Big Ben and all the rest of... Is it just Big Ben? Is it... You just put Big Ben there. Okay. I could probably figure that out. Is it Ben or Bend? Bend. Oh, okay. Bend is fancy. And then this right here is your date of birth? Okay. And how old does that make you? 26. 26, okay. Right here is schooling. So that is like, did you graduate high school? or? Yes. Okay. So That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So just put uh, HS or high school or something there just so that way I'll remember. Because sometimes I forget things. So screen number right there. And then here is the date. Uh, I lost track. It's been so I think long. it's the 16th. I don't have my phone with me. But um, I believe it is the 16th. 
You know what? Let me go look real quick, okay? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go get the time today. So, yeah, 
So they have a county named that and a city named that? I bet that gets confusing. Oh, not me, because I'm actually working with Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. So do you have any kids? Oh, uh, no. No kids? No kids. Okay. Um, I, I, as you can imagine, we've talked to Gypsy a lot yeah. tonight. Yeah, uh, it's been a lot of weeks. Yeah, so we've talked to her, and, um, and she told us a whole bunch of stuff that's happened to you guys, and so I kind of just want to talk to you and, and start from the beginning, maybe, like how you guys met or whatever, you know, is that, can you start from where you guys yeah. met, would that make you feel comfortable? Okay, where did you guys meet? It was uh, a site called uh, ChristianForDatingFree.com. Okay, is that like a dating site? Yeah, it's for okay. Christians, but it's meant to be free. Okay. So you don't have to pay any money for it, it's just a place you can go to to meet people? Yep. Okay. And have you met a lot of people on there? Um, I met a couple other before I met her. Okay. Yeah. And what was, do you guys have like names or how does it, how do you know who you're talking to? Um, she, uh, when I talked to her, it was uh, where it actually had her name as I was reading it. So. What is her name? Her name is Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Yeah. Okay. And then what was your name whenever she was talking to you? I was just about when I was online, so. Okay. Yeah. So you had your name and then she had her name. Yeah. And then you guys met on there. And then yeah. so once you met on there, what what happened? Um, we uh, got closer on there and we uh, connected more and more. Okay. And then... We uh, are comfortable where we uh, about like I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I we, it's a, the way that we flipped is it made it seem like uh, we somehow just knew we were right for each other. Okay. So we uh, like what was it like four days? I have to say four days later we uh, started a relationship together. Okay. Yeah. And so your relationship. What kind of relationship was that that you guys started? It was uh, uh, one of those uh, committed ones. Okay. To each other. Committed yeah. to each other. Yeah. So you were on there looking for other people and she wasn't looking for other people. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, and then, so did you guys start communicating other ways other than that website? Um, Since you're a couple now. Yeah, we uh, we tried to do a uh, site called DateMe.com. Okay. But, uh, that is confusing because there's so many, I have so many friends on there. So. Okay. Um, and then, uh, other than that, I suppose it was, uh, they did do uh, Facebook for a little while too. Facebook, okay. Yeah. And what is your, your name on Facebook? It's, uh, it's my name, is name is Rachel. Okay, and how about hers? Um, well actually she got rid of hers recently. Okay. Uh, because uh, me and her, because uh, I don't know how much she told her, I hope she told you everything that I do now. So, okay. um, she, apparently from what she told me, her mom took her home of her house. Okay. So she uh, texted me to pick her up. Okay. And what happened was, I uh, got on a bus about a day later, about in the afternoon of that day. Okay. And then I got back to, what was it? I believe it was Springfield, Missouri. Okay. I would say that's where it is. It's, I'm all loopy for this away. Okay. So long. Um, yeah, Springfield, Missouri. I, uh, as soon as I got there, I walked straight to a uh, hotel and then I let her know that it was a hotel. Okay. So you got there on a bus. What kind of bus was it? It was a Greyhound bus. Okay. So you got Springfield, Missouri on a Greyhound bus. Yeah. And um, you walked straight to a hotel. Do you remember what that hotel was called? Yeah, it was uh, called uh, Days Inn. Days Inn. Okay. And that's in Springfield, Missouri? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you get off the bus and you walk straight to Days Inn. What kind of clothes are you wearing? Uh, oh, jeez. I don't have that good on my Okay. 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 Was you wearing jeans or shorts or something? Um, I'm always wearing just athletic clothing. Athletic clothing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you get off. Do you have luggage with you or anything? Yes. Okay. What kind of luggage do you have? I had, uh... Uh, my clothing. Okay. Uh, since I wasn't sure how long I was going to be there. Okay. I was worried sick about her when I got there to okay. where I wanted to find her as soon as possible. Okay. Because I knew she was wandering the streets. Okay. So I brought like three uh, days of clothing to like 
was going to do all I could to find her. Okay. What were you carrying your clothing in? It was a duffel bag. Oh, okay. What color? It was a uh, red and black. Okay. Was it like a Nike or Adidas or? Um, my dad gave me his uh, uh, duffel bag. It's a marble, or marble. Uh, you know, the cigar company marble? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what kind of it is. It's one of those kind of duffel bags. Okay. And so, so you did the Springfield, so you're excited, you want to see her, so then what do you do? Um, I texted her, and then she, uh, I, there's obviously a lot of, like, free public Wi-Fi spots around there, so. Okay. Uh, I don't know where she texted me from, but she was able to find somewhere to text me from. Okay. And after that, um, we would, uh, periodically keep in touch. Okay. Um, but and so you're texting from your phone? Yeah. What is your cell phone number? It's a 262-501-9008. Okay, what is hers? Uh, she wasn't using her phone number. What she was she using? She was using her uh, Yahoo uh, ID, which I have no clue what it is. Is it like Yahoo Messenger? Or yeah, whatever? it's one of the messenger things they use texting for. So you can, from your phone, you can send her a message to that, and then she can send you a message yeah. back and forth, and you guys can chat with each other. Yeah. Okay. So she tells you that she's got kicked out, and you're coming here, and you're coming to see her, and you're going to find her? Is yeah. that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. And so you guys start communicating like that, and then what happens? And then, uh, it wasn't until the 10th, is when I was able to actually okay. like, get her to meet me. Okay. Uh, what happened was is I uh, told her uh, exactly where I was on the actual, what road it was, okay. everything else, where the actual hotel was. Okay. And uh, after that, um, she didn't really text me for a long time. It was confusing why. Okay. And then uh, as I'm going outside my hotel room, uh -huh. I had a run-in tour. Okay. As, as I'm trying to get an actual like, soda. Okay. So, so you're going to get a soda and just run right into her? <laughs> yeah. It was right on the same level that my hotel room was on. Okay. Um, and then what happens? And then uh, I, I realize it's her, so I'm like, okay, I guess I open my door back up and then I... Because uh, apparently she uh, packed because she knew her mom was going to take her out. Okay. And uh, I had to bring all of her clothes and everything else back into my hotel room, so okay. this way she had somewhere to put it. Okay. And then after that, uh, I asked if she wanted to get a soda with me, and then she wanted me. Where did she go get a soda at? It was uh, at my vending machine that was outside. Okay. That the uh, hotel used in Okay. Lives. And then what happened? And then, um... Me and her pretty much uh, stayed inside the hotel for pretty much the entire time. For my, because the thing is, it was my uh, bus ticket. It was a round trip, so I, at first, I thought I'd be able to get her back since she wanted to move in with me. Obviously, this is when she's up here. But um, yeah, uh, when she uh, got hold me and me and her actually went to the bus station. I learned that she actually couldn't get a bus to. The same one that I already had, I had to read and do my actual schedule. Okay. So after that, I uh, did it. I tried to remove her pretty much nothing. It was, it was free. Okay. And I uh, helped her with her bus ticket afterward. Okay. Did you give her money for it? or? Uh, no, I, I did it for, for her. Oh, okay. Um, and then what happened? And then uh, because the, the one that was I had to change, uh -huh. because of that one was changed, uh, we ended up going back to the hotel okay. just to uh, rest, okay. pretty much. Okay. And uh, we ordered food and we were uh, pretty much just resting there because we didn't know what else to do. Okay. Was, Where did you order food from? Um, uh, one place was Domino's. Okay, and they delivered it to your room? Yep. Okay, so Domino's delivered to your room and where else? And the other was uh, Papa John's. Papa John's, okay. And then, did they both deliver on the level? No, no, no. Oh, okay, so... We were on separate days. Okay. Uh, one time was uh, on the 10th. Okay. And the other was on the 11th. And then I, mean, I had to leave on the 12th because that's what I scheduled mine and hers for. Okay. Um, we were able to get the bus, but after we got on the bus, we had trouble getting all the way up here, pretty much, because... The uh, bus in uh, Chicago, 
uh, it was full to the end of the second bus. Okay. And yeah, it was frustrating. Yeah, at least you guys were together, huh? Yeah, I agree. That's, that's okay. good. Um, okay, so did you guys go out in Wordy? Um, uh, we were thinking about doing it, but we figured it was safe because my mom, well, she, she's a uh, worry freak. She, she, you know, if she knows that I'm in another state, she's in a uh, apparently what she told me she was in basket case while I was down there. Okay. Because she was so worried about me. But um, she told me to stay in the hotel, and that's pretty much why I did it. Okay. She was just... She told you to? Yeah, because she feared for my safety. Okay. Okay. So, then you guys get on the bus, and then you guys get here, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you ride a Greyhound each time you went? Yeah. All the way yeah, to buses? There was no other uh, bus station. So, there. where's the bus station stop at here? Uh, uh, here it is stuck in Milwaukee. Okay. And then how did you get from Milwaukee to your house in Big Ben? Uh, my mom picked us up. Oh, okay. So then you, would you call mom and say, hey, we're here, come pick yeah, us up? Yeah. And so was that the first time that your mom ever met your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess she's your girlfriend, if she's Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Do you mom. love her? Oh, do I love her? I you was, love her a lot? I was bummed my eyes out waiting for you know, this mom to go and talk to you. Okay. And I was so worried about her. Yeah. Um, I think she loves you too. Um, you know, we spoke to her and uh, for a long time, um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe she loves you a little more than you love her, because you're sitting here telling me things that I know are true, and then she's sitting here telling me things that are true. And if you really love her, I don't think that you would want her in that situation. Okay, the situation that she's in right now, um, and so you. We're going to go down two paths here, okay? And that is just you're going to have to be honest with me. Okay? Because if you love her, if you love Gypsy, then you're not going to let Gypsy get in trouble without you being there to help her, okay? Awesome. And so what you need to know is that Gypsy told us everything. We didn't talk to Gypsy all this time and not get everything. That's what we do. And so... Nick, I want you to do the honorable thing, okay, for, for Gypsy and for your family, okay, because we know what happened. And um, I want to give you the opportunity to start over and tell the truth, okay? And the truth is, is not what you've told me. I must say, I told you the truth. Um, I believe the part that you got on a bus and went to Springfield, I believe that's true. Um, that you ordered food to eat, I believe that's true. Okay. Um, I believe that it's true that at some point Gypsy came back to with you to the hotel. I believe that's true. Yeah, yeah. I believe Gypsy got on a bus and came here with you. I believe yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's all I believe. Okay. Okay? Because you missed a lot in there. And I understand that you missed a lot because you're probably, you don't know what to say because you don't know what Gypsy said. I understand that. But I'll tell you right now, Gypsy did tell me everything. She told us everything. She told us about you coming there. That she told us what happened to mom. She told us about your guys' relationship. She told us about the cleanup. She told us about all of that. Okay? So, do you want to um, do the right thing by Gypsy if you love her? All the truth is in person, so there's, I know there's, you no do. Way, there's no way I would do I know. I, I know you do. I believe you do. But this is the point where you're going to prove whether you do or not, okay? When we you talk. Okay. okay? Because it's not fair. It's not fair to Gypsy for her to be honest and you to, you to lie, okay? So I what I want to know is, is um, can you tell me this first? Did Gypsy know that you were going to kill her mother? Um, honestly, she asked me to. Okay. So, so Gypsy knew you were going to do it because Gypsy asked you to. Yes. Why did she ask you to do that? Because she thought it was her only way to be with me. Okay. She felt like if, if you killed the mom, then that's the only way she could be with you. Yeah. Do you know the mom's name? I don't know her real name. All I know is she goes by Dee Dee. Dee okay. So, um, has, has Gypsy asked you to kill anyone else? No. Okay, she just wants you to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And how did Gypsy ask you to do that? Did she ask you to do that in a text message, on a Facebook, or in person, or something different? 
Well, it was more than once. I mean, you had a, a Facebook, um, we, we talk about it on there, we talked about it even on Texas. Okay. And what, what kind of things would Jitsi tell you that she wanted you to do? Uh, she wanted to, uh, the thing is that I know she goes around a lot, I know she does. Yeah. Uh, I had the, well, I was up here with her, and, uh, and she felt guilty about the whole situation, I had to make sure she was safe. And meaning, like, I had to make sure she felt like she could be comforted by me. By you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Because, I mean, the truth is, okay, I'll admit it, I did actually, Step, uh, I will make it. <laughs> I, the only reason I did it is because I did it for me and I was the real reason I did it. I would have never did it if it was not for me and her. Okay. So, you wouldn't have done it if somebody else would have asked? No. Okay. There's no way I would give for anyone else. Okay, so you just... So I truly do worship her to the point that I want to give for her. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you proved that, right? Yes. I think that you proved that, that you, you do what she asked you to do, if that's the case, if she did ask you. Yes, she did ask me. Okay, and she asked you more than once? Um, did she ask you why you were here? She asked me more than once because uh, what happened was at first she wanted because uh, the thing was is that she wanted to do her stuff but she was too, uh, what's the word, uh, not, not cautious, it's, uh, I guess scarce is the word I'm looking for. Okay. She didn't want to actually do it. Okay. Because she couldn't live with it so good. Okay. And um, as for um, me, I honestly to this day I still feel guilty about it. Okay. I do. I do. Right. Because I, I didn't, because I, I learned so much about her mom after she told me and more and more about it after actually being able to live with her for a while. Right. I actually realized how good of a mom she was. Okay. So it kind of makes you feel a little guilty. No, no, no. I feel a lot more guilt than that. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, because so Gypsy's telling you about her mom. Yeah. And then... Yeah, okay. how she is and, and uh, her accomplishments and all, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so when you came here to Springfield, that was your purpose to come here so that way you could do that for Gypsy? Yes, because I wanted to be with her and I okay. wanted... So did Gypsy know he was coming here then to go ahead and kill Dee? Yes. Okay. Um, so, why did you guys decide that you would stab her instead of shooting her with a gun or poisoning her or doing beating her with a bat? Like, why did you guys decide stabbing would be what you did to kill her? Um, honestly, uh, the thing is, is we really wouldn't have known how to poison her. Honestly, we wouldn't have known how to. Okay. Um, I mean, she looked up multiple times of how to do it, how to do it, because she wanted to find the quickest way to do it. Okay, so like she looked up on the internet, yes. like how to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And so she was looking for the easiest way to do it? Yes, because okay. she would be in less pain. She wanted okay. her mom's death to be quick. Okay, okay, so you wouldn't have known how to do the poisoning. And so, um, again, why did we choose the knife? Like, why the reason why we chose the knife is because I guess she thought that it would be quicker if she got up quickly. Okay. So now, did she tell you that, or is that something you think she thought? Most likely that's what I would think she would Okay, but she didn't tell you to no. stab her because she'd bleed out quickly. No. Okay. That's what I figured she would think. Okay. it made sense. More holes, faster they go away, and the faster they are at peace. Okay. So the more holes you put in into the body? Yeah. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um... So that's why you, you, you chose to stab her. Yes. Okay. And so, how did you get the knife? Like, where did the knife come from? Did yes. you bring it with you from here? No. Okay. Did you buy it somewhere? She bought it for me. Who bought it for you? Uh, Gypsy. Where did she buy it from? Online. She bought it online? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It was not online. I gotta get like, that straight. It's not yeah, online. don't lie, because you don't want to get Gypsy in trouble for something because you're going to lie about it. Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh, she somehow found a way to get one uh, at Walmart. I don't know how she did, but she did. So when you got, so you didn't bring a knife from here? No. So when you got here, she had a knife? Yeah. So did she know you was going to stab her? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what did the knife look like? Um, it was a, it had a red and black handle. Red and black? Yeah. Okay. 
And how about how long was it? Uh, gosh. Um, Use your hands to show me. Maybe, maybe we'll do that long. Maybe. Was the red and black handle plastic or wood? Or? Uh, it was a uh, squishy grip. I can't remember it's it was a squishy grip? Yeah, and it's hard to put in the works. Okay. On the edge of the knife, like, if, if you, can you draw the knife for me, maybe? I'm a bad artist. You're that artist? Okay. Would the knife, like, okay, if the knife went, like, was life smooth like this, or was it jaggedy like that? It was jaggedy. Jaggedy? On one side and the other side it was smooth. Okay. And what color was that part of the knife? It was just the black. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sleepy. That's um, correct. Uh, it's... It was just the normal color of what uh, blade usually looks like. Like stainless steel type yeah. look? Okay. Yeah. So like, see this edge of this table right here? Kind of like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what that looked like. And then the handle was red and black. Kind of squishy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you hold the knife with one hand or did it take two hands to hold the knife? One hand. One hand? Yes. Okay. Have you ever stabbed anybody before this? No. That's the reason why uh, this was the gray. Only one person would ever do this one. Okay, the only person you do it for is Gypsy. This is the first time you ever stabbed anybody. Yes. Okay, so when you're stabbing me, where is she at? She's on her stomach. On her stomach where? On the floor, the bathtub, or somewhere different? On her, uh, on the, oh my gosh, I got it on my where, oh, I found seconds. You're fine. Take your time. She was on the bed. Her bed. Her bed. In her, in her bedroom? Yes. Okay. So was she sleeping on her stomach or just laying there watching TV or? Sleeping on her stomach. Okay, so she's laying in her bed sleeping on her stomach. Is she covered up with covers or uncovered or? Um, it, actually when I did it, it seemed like, um, she had her, as long as I can think on it, it Okay. Like, and, uh, she barely even was covered at all. Okay. So, it was easy access to her stomach. Okay. So she wouldn't have a, she didn't have a bunch of covers on her, it made it a lot easier to yeah. do that. Okay. And um, so when she's laying there, where's the first place you decide to stab her? In the, uh, I just was in her room, so in the back. In the back, just random? Yes. Do you know how many times you stabbed her? Uh, four. You stabbed her four? Yeah, four times. Okay. The fourth one, I, I felt it go into, I think it might have been her lungs. Okay. It's, it was harder to get out. Okay. Did it take one hand to get it out? Two hands? Uh, I had to hand get out. Okay. With my hand. Okay. So it did. So the others came out easy, but this one, that one, kind of came out harder. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, you only stabbed her four times. Are you sure about that? Well, as as it's stabbing, I stabbed her. Okay. But I did actually cut her one other time besides that. Okay. Where'd you cut her at? Right from neck. Okay. And did you use the same knife that you no. did the others with? No. Okay. And when you did the cross the back of the neck, did that even cause an injury or did you see any blood or anything? Um, yeah, she was bleeding. Okay, she's bleeding. Um, and so did you, um, did she scream or holler? Or? Yeah, she did. What was she saying? Uh, First she said help, and then she didn't know, she didn't recognize who I was. She said, okay. who are you, and then... She said, who are you? Yeah. Okay. And she didn't recognize who you are, and she says help, and then what does she say? And then she called up for Gypsy, but she didn't do anything. Okay. She hollered for Gypsy? Yes. And did she holler for Gypsy once, twice, five times? Three times. Three times? And what was she saying? Can you tell me how she <clears throat> said it? Um, she pretty much yelped it. Yelped it? It's like, Gypsy! Okay. This is loud. And what did you do when she did that? Uh, I didn't stop from keep on going. Okay. You just kept stabbing her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any reason that we would think that maybe you stabbed her more than four times? I'm not that I'm aware of. Okay. Now, did Gypsy come in and stab her? No, no, no. Gypsy never stabbed her? She couldn't do it. Okay. That's why she asked me to. Okay. Did you try to get Gypsy to come in and stab her? No, I would have never done that. Okay. Um, so when you say four actual stabs, <laughs> so those are the ones that went in deeper? Yeah. Was there some little ones? Or? There, there might have been. So I, the truth is that I counted the, the ones that went in deep. I didn't count any other, if there's any other ones. Okay. 
So if there's any other ones, you just didn't count those because they didn't go in as deep. Yeah. Okay. But you know that four of them went in deep. Yeah. Okay. Do you know where those four deep ones were? Uh, Are you counting the one in the back of the neck or not in that four? No. Okay, so this the back of the neck would be something different. Yeah, okay. it's completely separate. Okay, so the four that went in deep, do you remember where those went at on her body? Um, I honestly can't remember because I... I think it's just uh, a blockage because of the uh, guilt. Okay. I can't okay. remember. Sometimes there's things that we don't remember and that I'll understand that you don't remember, but you might re not remember something that's important that I know you remember, okay? But that you might not remember, and I understand that because in the situation, okay? Um, so, when, where was Gypsy at when you were stabbing her? When you were stabbing Dee in the bed, where was Gypsy at? She was uh, hiding in the bathroom. Okay. Why was she in the bathroom? Why was she hiding in the bathroom? Because uh, she didn't know if uh, her mom was going to kill me or not. Oh, okay. So she thought mom might kill you. Yes. Okay. Did she think mom had a weapon or? Um, uh, she didn't believe I could actually do it. That's what I think it was. Okay. She didn't, she didn't think that she would just go in there. She, you don't know if she, yeah, she had confidence in you. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah. She didn't think I was okay. capable of it. What, who, whose decision was it for her to go in the bathroom while this was happening? Um, she said that, that that's what her she wanted to do. Okay. So I, I just let her do it. Okay. And she locked the door her, so. Okay, so she went in the bathroom, locked the door, and and he went to do yeah. whatever you were doing. Do you remember? Um, did Gypsy ever come out and see her mom? No, uh, I wouldn't let her. You wouldn't let her go in there and see her. I didn't want her to be traumatized. Okay. Um. Um, did you have sex with Dee? No. You didn't stick your penis anywhere on her? No. Nope. Are you sure? No. Nope. Positive. I'm not sure that. Okay. Uh, did you stick your penis in her mouth? No. Nope. Okay. Did your penis touch anywhere on Dee's body? No. Nope. Okay. Did your mouth touch anywhere on Dee's body? No. No. Okay. Did you kiss her? No. Nope. Lick her or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, did did Gypsy come in and do anything like that with her mom? No. Touch her mom's privates? No, she wouldn't do that. Okay. No, she wouldn't. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think about people that have sex with dead bodies? It's quite disturbing, honestly. Okay. That's just, that would bother you? Yeah. Okay. I don't like necrophilia. Okay. Oh, that, is that an actual thing? What, what does that mean, necrophilia? Necrophilia is that she means to have sex with the dead. Okay. Have you ever known anybody to do that? Uh, no, I only know the word because uh, I tend to look up words that seem to be popular in today's culture. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So um, you you stab me in the bed, and Gypsy's in the bathroom, and so what happens after you're done stabbing D? I uh, knock the door and I also scratch my throat twice to learn how those mean instead of her mom. Oh, so is that a code you guys came up yep. with? Okay, so what was the code again? It was three knocks and then two scratches. Okay, three knocks, two scratches. And then that was so that way she would know in the bathroom. And it was, that was so Gypsy would know that it was you and not her mom. Yep. Okay, and did you guys plan that out before? Uh, we... Like I said, we went back and forth between one and one and the other, but that would end up being the one I used to stick with. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, after that happens, after you do the three knocks and the two scratches, does she open the door? Uh, not right away. Okay, what happens? She wanted to save uh, her private part okay. and her legs. Okay, she wanted to save her private part and her legs? Yes, for me. Okay. Um, did she, has she ever done that before? Or is this something new? Um, no, usually her mom does not let her shave her legs. Okay. So her mom doesn't let her shave her legs? Yeah. Does her mom let her shave her privates? Her, uh, her mom never seemed to care about that before. Okay. So, yeah. So how did you know she wanted to do that for you? Um, uh, because, uh, she, uh, well, she did it. Okay. That's what, that's kind of what did you do? Like, she shaved her legs and stuff? I waited for her. Okay. And then she gets out of the bathroom? 
Is her leg shaved and everything's in yeah. shape? And then yeah. what happens? And then uh, we uh, set the thing up, uh, the ground and everything around. Okay. Clean up. What do you clean in the house? Uh, yes. You're like vacuuming and dusting and stuff like that? Uh, cleaning up the sessions of anything that has the memories of her. That's like what we're doing. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like, anything <laughs> that had, uh, uh, I mean, she took uh, some pictures away and she actually threw them in the trash. She, okay. she tried to get rid of the things that would uh, give you guys the idea that she really lives there. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, dibs. Did you guys clean up any blood or anything? Yes. Okay, what kind of blood got cleaned up? I believe it must have been mine because I accidentally stabbed myself in the process. Where'd you stab yourself at? Right here. Oh my goodness, do you need stitches or anything? No, well, I've been holding this. Okay. Because there's a Is that the only place you got cut or did you get cut other places? Um, in, in blood, before that left earlier, uh, there, there was a spot where it's, ironically, it's the very same spot that ended up hurting me again. Right what here. do you mean, got hurt again, roughed up? What do you mean? Uh, when I, well, one day, uh, arrested me. Oh, okay. So the ground, and that's just my elbow down. Okay. But, but, did, that was an injury from when you stabbed Dean, too? And yeah, then it just okay. got re-injured whenever you... Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then that other one on your hand right there, that's the cut that you cut yourself? Yep. Okay, what are those up there? These up here are from, uh, when I hit the ground, so I hit my face and my stomach, and, uh, part of my leg. Okay. On the... Concrete. Okay, when they arrested you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, so when you guys are, when you and uh, Gypsy are cleaning up the blood, are you helping Gypsy clean up the blood, or is just Gypsy doing it, or just you doing it? Uh, we, uh, for a while, we did it together. Okay. And then, because she wanted to get done faster, she did it herself. Okay. Before. And what did she do it with? Um, she uh, used a order, uh, what the heck was it? Was that a in a cleaner size order remover. Okay. Do you remember what kind of bottle it was in? I was like a reddish bottle. Reddish bottle? Okay. And um, how do you use that to clean? Like, is that a spray? Is that a powder? Is it uh, liquid? Or? It's a liquid. Okay. So we had to pour it down. She pour, or she pour it down? She poured it on top of her the levels. Okay. And then she would use uh, either a uh, paper towel or uh, she never used any rags, surprisingly, but yeah, that's the main thing she used, just a paper towel. Okay. That, or, um, there was also these wipes that she used. Okay. Okay. And so, um, she cleans up the mess, the, the blood, that may be yours because you provide yeah. yourself. Yeah. Um, and then what happens? And then, uh, she went and got stuck in this object. Okay, she wanted to have sex with you? Yes. Okay, and so where did you guys have sex at? In her bedroom. In her bed. Her bed. In yes. uh, Gypsy's bed? Yes. Okay. Um, and so you guys have sex? Yes. And what kind of sex? What, what is sex like to you? Well, it's, well to me, uh, the, the concept that it was is pretty much uh, about 100% consensual. Okay. For, yeah. Okay. Because, uh, she, uh, I, obviously I was the one I was in charge, but she went along with it willingly. Okay. Yeah. And so what did you guys do when you had sex? Um, uh, we pretty much did all three things. We did Dan, we did all, all of them. Okay. Yeah. So you, you had anal sex with her? Yes. And then what's the other? I can't guess. Um, uh, oral, uh, all okay. of them. Like I said, all of them. Um, uh, vagina, all of them. Okay. Okay, when you say oral, is that you providing oral sex to her and her providing oral sex to you? Or both. Is it both? Okay. Both. And that happened in her bed? Yes. Okay. Um, do you know if this is the first time Jitsi ever had sex? Mm, actually, I do not, if it is. Is it or not? It isn't. Okay. So she's had sex before she had sex with you? She's had sex with me. I actually wanted to take her insanity. Oh, so you guys had sex a different time than this. Yes. Oh, when did that happen? It was, uh, in a, uh, what the heck was it? was a theater. In a theater? Yeah. In Springfield or somewhere different? Springfield. Wow, did her mom know? 
Um, we took it from our mom. Okay. Where did you have sex at in the theater? It was in the bathroom. Okay, in a girl's bathroom or a boy's bathroom? She just took me to the boy's bathroom. I didn't have any choice. So I went right into the boy's bathroom. I see what they were Okay. Okay. Was, was that uh, a year ago, two years ago? Um, How long ago was that? That was back in March. Back in March of? This year. Oh, okay. So you were in Springfield before? Yep. And did her mom know you were here? Uh, no, I got to meet her mom in person for the first time. And was her mom nice to you? Or yeah, she was really nice to me. And I, I don't know what it was, but apparently the night got wounded in some way. I, I couldn't, I was trying to understand what was going on with her mom, but okay. I don't know exactly what happened. So did, did you meet her at the theater? Yeah, I did meet her, but I was waiting for her for quite some time for a day. Okay. Okay. And then what happened after you guys had sex at the theater? Um, uh, we uh, went to our movie and watched it. And then what happened after the movie? And I said, um, I go buy a store. Go buy a store? No, I said, I could buy a store. Oh, I said, so you could buy a store. I was like, go to a store. Okay, so you said you could buy a store. And yep. then you went your way and you went back home? How did you get here that time? Um, she got me the money. She gave you money? Yep. How did you get the money? I said something like that. Okay, so was it cash that she sent you? Yes. Or, okay, and how much did she send you? Uh, that time I believe it was 400 because she wouldn't check how much I was going to need. Okay, so she sent you $400? Yep. Okay, and um, uh, did she send you money this time for you to come? Uh, yeah. And how much did she send you this time? Uh, same number, actually. 400 Okay, and then she just sent it to you in the mail in cash? Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, and then so, so let's go back to the time that you guys just had sex. Um, well, do you remember what day that was? I can't remember the day. Okay. You don't remember if it was a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday? Oh, gosh. Um, if I can guess. So you don't have to guess. If you don't know the answer, you don't have to give me an answer. I'll say Tuesday. Okay. I guess. Okay, if you had a guess, you'd say it was a Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, was she, did Gypsy enjoy the sex, like, or was she telling me to leave her alone? No, she didn't tell me to leave her alone. Okay. It was very consensual. I mean, she, at first, it, uh, she, uh, pushed me a little bit, like, she wasn't sure how rough I was going to be. Okay. And then after that, I, I reassured her that everything was fine. And after that, she just gave me, she knew that I was okay. not going to hurt her. Okay, so then she just gave in and just... Yeah. Just, okay, just, what was she wearing when you guys had sex? Uh, it was a, a, a dress, it was like a Cinderella dress. Okay. Because we had the movie we were seeing. Okay. Together. So, she had a Cinderella dress on? Yeah. And what color was that? Uh, it was a, like a lightest blue and it had, uh, like, uh, white on to it also. Okay. Um, did she have a wig on or no wig? Or what, what color was her wig? Her wig was uh, blonde. Oh, okay. And um, did she have that on when she was in the bathroom? Yes. Waiting for you to stab me? Oh, no. No, no she didn't have it on then? No, she had a different wig on that time. Okay. So the Cinderella dress thing, was that when you were at the movies? Or yes. was that okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you were at the movies with her having sex, she had a Cinderella dress on and blonde wig. Yep, yep, okay, yep. but when you had sex with her at her house, what was she wearing this this time? Uh, it was uh, like a really dark brunette uh, like wig. It was pretty long. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of clothing did she have on? Um, me and her did it uh, naked. Okay. Did she have clothes on before you guys got naked? Um, not really because she was uh, in the bath. Remember, I told you she was in the bathtub doing that, and she saved me against her time. Okay, so she shaved her legs and her vagina, right? Yep. And then she comes out, and then she cleans. Is she still naked when she's cleaning? Yeah, she, she, she did the entire thing. She, she felt like she was in a rush, so she said the entire thing. Okay, did it naked? Yep. Okay, and then... Judge, you have not reached the mark that you owe as a is everybody good for watching another half hour, or would you like to take a break? Keep going? All right.
Then we'll take a break and we'll finish this. Thank you. And then you go into her bedroom. Okay. Is her bed got blankets on it? Is her bed on the floor? What kind of bed does she have? Um, it was a. Uh, the biggest thing for her part of time is that it was full, and I mean full of stuffed animals. Okay. Gosh. How did you guys have sex on the bed if there was a bunch of stuffed animals? She threw it all of it off of it. Okay. And it's Throwing them off onto the floor? Or? Yeah, yeah, onto the floor because there's too much stuff of it down there. And it's okay. got the, the ones that was like part um, a pillow, but part also a stuffed animal at the same time. You got that on the bed. Just okay. Just in case you needed any comfort with it. Was there, um, was, now was D making any noise or was D dead by then? She was probably long gone by then. Long gone by then, by the yeah. time you guys are having sex? Yes. Okay. And, um, so, uh, when you have sex, do you ejaculate? Like, does uh, semen come out of your penis? I, uh, I think I may have, like, too much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stamina or endurance or something like that. Okay. It takes a lot to even get me close. Okay, so it takes a long time for you to get there. Yep. Did you get there that day, that night? No. Okay, so you, you didn't, you wasn't able to nope. ejaculate? Not that time. Okay. Was you, at that time during the movie theater, were you able to? I, uh, was, I got close to it, I didn't actually be able, I wasn't able to do it, though. Okay. Got close. Okay, did you get, and so you got close, did you get close this time at the house? Um, no, actually, I didn't get as close as I thought I was going to get. Okay. It's really felt any pleasure, actually. Okay. All right. Is there a reason you didn't feel pleasure? Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Is was the time before, like, when I first took uh, virginity, uh -huh. um, we had a uh, condom on at the time. Okay. And I wasn't used to them at all. It was the very first time I actually ever wore one. Okay. So, we by that, uh, it, it must have, like, messed me up to where I'm not used to, because I haven't had sex for a very long time. Right. Okay. And at the stunts at that time, I pretty much forgot, like, how to pace myself and all the rest of that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. When you say you forgot how to pace yourself, what does that mean? Meaning I, uh, didn't know how to pace myself in a way where I would be able to build up the actual pleasure. Oh, okay. And a constant motion. Okay, okay. Okay, so you didn't ejaculate while you were at their house? Nope. Okay. So, how, when does the sex come to an end? Like, what? how do you determine, okay, we've reached the point where we're done having sex? Um, I didn't make her uh, have her own orgasm once. Okay. And then after that, I sort of blew me a little bit, and then after that, I think we started because uh, we realized there was a lot of panic and stuff to do. Okay. And what do you mean when you say blue me? Uh, well, I'm coming in like, uh, she uh, gave me a little bit. Okay, is that putting her mouth on, her pe on your penis? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, so after that, um, and you guys decide, okay, now we've got packing to do, what do you guys do then after you have sex? Uh, we uh, pack the clothes, and we pack the uh, movies, we pack whatever uh, she thought of it would uh, like me, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What kind of movies did you guys take? Um, she took some seasons of like, um, some, uh, like, uh, TV shows. Okay. Do you know what kind of TV shows they were? Um, uh, I'm a big TV fan, so I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one was, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, okay. And I don't know what other ones were there. I know she took those in two, but also, uh, I can't remember the other ones I can. Okay. There's more of them I can remember. Okay. And so, what do you guys pack the stuff into? Um, a suitcase. Okay. And what color is the suitcase? It's pink. Okay. And so everything fits in this one suitcase that you guys are taking? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we also took a, uh, what did you say, a backpack. A backpack? Okay, what kind of backpack was it? Uh, it was black. I, I forgot what it said. It had something on the back of it. I forgot what it said, though. Okay. All right, so you take the backpack and you take, pack all the stuff into the, um, uh, suitcase, and then what do you guys do? And then, uh, we do, we finish cleaning whatever else is left to try to get rid of my, food, my fingerprints and everything else like that. Okay, so how do you get rid of fingerprints and stuff? Like, what do you do? Uh, she used, uh, uh, a defect, a defect, defectant wipe. Okay. And she, uh, pretty much pat it down wherever she thought it might have her hands. Okay. And did you tell her to do 
you met her, did she just do that? She did it because she was uh, afraid of me getting caught, even though I had a weird feeling of wanting to get caught, but yeah. You did have a weird feeling you were going to get caught? Mm -hmm. What What gave you that weird feeling? I don't know, I just had this feeling in my stomach and then it happened, and I just, I, I really, it was just thinking it was not a matter of time where it happens. I wasn't sure when it was going to happen, I just knew it was going to. Okay, all right. Well, you seem like a pretty honorable person, because you love Jitsi, so, I mean. Well, that's the thing. I uh, I admitted to the thing is me and Jesse have cried multiple times. Together over this? Yes. Okay. And I've told her this whole time, that's when I just that she did well. Okay. Well, you're doing the right thing now, so you should at least give yourself credit. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, okay. So, um, you guys get everything packed up, yep. and then she writes down the fingerprints or whatever. Do you help her? Uh, no, I do not because I don't want to use any of them. Any chances of me getting any fingerprints anywhere else. Okay. So I let her do the rest of it just so I don't make any more for her to clean pretty much. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Now, in their house, is their house really clean and neat or is it... Um, uh, not, it is not neat at all. It's not? I, that was the first time I ever in their house and I can't believe how much of a big side it was. Oh, okay. What do you, when you say big side, what do you mean? I mean, uh... There was one room where it was hard to even get into the room. I was just in it. Then uh, TV's bedroom, there was stuff on along where the, uh, the where the bed is. You get the bed, and you got pretty much where the edge of the bed is. Okay. That's where she had all the different things, just all over there. I just I don't know how else to put it. But, like I mean, she might have had like uh, clothing and uh, all different things. Do you remember that ever seeing a Barney, a Barney doll, or a, it's like a purple dinosaur? Yeah, yeah. Where did you see that at? It's not in there. I think it's one of them. Where are we going? Is it not? I think it was in Gypsy's room. In Gypsy's room? That's what I remember. Okay. But do you, do you remember seeing a purple dinosaur? The Barney dinosaur or whatever? Well, I know she did watch it, but I don't know. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about this now. <laughs> no, I don't remember seeing one. Now. You don't? Okay. No, I don't remember seeing one. Okay. Um, I'm not thinking about it. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys get everything packed. She wipes out the fingerprints, and then what do you guys do? Uh, we uh, get a taxi and we get to the hotel from the taxi. Okay. Um, where does the taxi come to? Um, to the uh, address of her house. Okay, so you call the taxi, or does she call the taxi? I called it because I don't know how to do it. Okay, and then do you give them the address? Yep. Okay, and so they you give them the address and they come to the house. Do you remember what day that was and what time it was? Uh, it was in the morning, the really, really like, early in the morning. I remember the sun coming up, so... Okay, so you guys didn't sleep there at the house where he was at? Okay, so you, you remember the sun was coming up and you called the taxi? Yeah. Okay, and so when the taxi comes, what color is the taxi? It's uh, yellow. Okay, and is there a male or a female driving? Man or a woman? Uh... Okay. If you can't remember, that's fine. I can't remember. Okay. Okay. So you do you both get in the taxi with the luggage? Yep. And then where and where's the taxi take you? Back to my hotel. Hotel. And how much did they charge you? Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember the exact amount. Okay. But then did you pay for the taxi? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then you guys get out of the taxi and then what do you do? And then we uh obviously we paid for it and then we went up to my bedroom or you know my What room was you in? Uh, at the time when uh, we did this, it was 227. What was it? The room number was 227 at the time. 227, okay. So, you go up to the room, then what happens? And then uh, we uh, set everything in the uh, area to where it was easy to move, maneuver around the bedroom of okay. the hotel. Okay. And then uh, we uh, just uh, relaxed at, um, uh, on top of the bed. Okay. We, uh, did you guys have sex again? Uh, we did, but we didn't move right away. Okay. Something.
something that we didn't talk about that we probably should is, um, I've worked cases where people have stabbed people to death before, okay. kind of like this. Yeah. And usually when they do, they don't just get cuts, but they usually get blood on them. Like, you get blood on your clothing or on your hands. Or, yeah. You know how probably when you were stabbing her, was blood kind of splattering a little bit or anything? Um, I didn't pay attention exactly to what I was <laughs> trying to see like where the back of the neck was. Okay. I see blood coming out of there. Okay. And I see blood coming off the knife, but other than that I didn't really know exactly where it was. Did you get any of her blood on you? Uh yes. And how did you clean that up? I didn't continue clean it because it was, uh, we were in such a rush. I mean So you had blood on your body when you had sex mm -hmm. with Gypsy? No, I had it on uh a uh I actually remember where I wear it. <laughs> okay, what did you wear? Uh, I wear a, um, uh, it was like a, what the heck is it called? Um, I think, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but I think it's called a, uh, Spain jacket, almost like. It was a uh, black. Okay. And, uh, I also had a black shirt on, as well as black pants. Okay, what, did your black shirt have anything on it? Yeah. Or just plain black? It had, uh, clowns on it. Oh, okay. Was it like a band or a... No, it's a... It, it pretty much looked like, uh, a crazy clowns, pretty much. Okay. And then you had black pants on? Yep. And what kind of shoes did you have? White shoes. Other shoes here? No. No? They're at the house? Yep. Okay. And so you had the black jacket, the clown shirt? What yep. clown shirt? Black pants and tissues. Yep. And what color the tissues again? White. White. Okay. Did you have any jewelry on? Any earrings? No. You don't look like you. you don't have your ears in your studio. No. Okay. So, alright. So you go um, to the room. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was thinking, oh, we never talked about that. So, That's okay. About that. um, okay, so you go to the room, and you're up in the room, and you guys are relaxing on top of the covers. Is that what you said? Yep. Okay, and then what do you do? And then, uh, while we're relaxing, um, we uh, cuddled for a while. Okay. And then uh, while we were cuddling, we were talking, but I honestly I can't remember the entire conversation. Okay. Um, did you guys talk about your future? What were your plans for your future? Um, we wanted to uh, uh, have a family together, and we wanted to uh, um, build a life together, and so we thought we really had a chance to do it, so okay. we were happy about that. Okay. At any time during any of this whole situation that's happened, did um, Gypsy ever have to be in a wheelchair? Um, yes. Okay, when was that? That was uh, only when she was living at home. Okay. Otherwise, uh, me and maybe like six other, no, five other, six, five other people knew that she could walk. Oh, okay. Why did nobody know she could walk? Uh, her mom, uh, one of the one thing that she's like 16 the entire time. So, okay. yeah, she felt kind of trapped. Mm -hmm. But in a wheelchair when she, when I actually was trying to encourage her to go more and more and more and more. Okay, so she can actually walk. Yep. And stand and do everything. Yep. But her mom wanted her to use a wheelchair and pretend yep. like she was 16. Yeah, 16 and disabled. Yes. Okay, so what would she do to pretend like she's disabled? Oh gosh, I can't even answer that question because I, I've only been around her one time when she's in her wheelchair. Okay. And other than that one time, I mean, it's one of those one wheelchair where it's motorized. Okay. And uh, the thing moves fast, but other than that, <laughs> it's not that I really know. Okay, so, so she can walk everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So when she was with you this whole time, she hasn't had to have a wheelchair? No. Nope. She can walk upstairs? Yep. She walk downstairs? Walk downstairs, upstairs. Okay. Okay. So, um, all right. So you guys cuddle, you lay in the bed. Are you talking about having a family then? Yep. Okay. What do you do with your clothes that you had on? Um, me and her, we, uh, we weren't sure how uh, long we were going to be away. So we uh, both got naked and we both uh, got uh, really, really into it and pretty much like snuggled together okay. for a while okay. and it uh, led to my sex. Okay. So, was you able to ejaculate that time? Oh, no? I had trouble the entire time I was in Springfield. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
What did you do with the knife? Um, we uh, wanted it to uh, mail it okay. to my house. Okay, so did you mail it? Yes. Okay, did it come? Has it came yet? Uh, yes. Okay, and what did you do with it when you got it at your house? Uh, we were uh, planning on hiding it, so we did try to hide it. Okay, where'd you hide it at? It's in uh, my closet. Okay, in your bedroom in your house? Yes. Okay, and so you just, what kind of package did you put it in to mail it to your to your house? Uh, I believe it's called bubble wrap. Oh, oh yeah, that clear plastic stuff? It's like that, but okay. it has a brown, uh, like a brown Where did you get that stuff at to mail it? Uh, Juicy had that all set up. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had that already all set up. So she had, she had uh, more than one of those to use. She put it in two. Okay, and then so she put it in there with your ad- Did you write your address or she wrote your address? She wrote it down. I have no, I have more of that good of penmanship. Okay, so she writes the address on it, and then you guys mail it to your house. Yep. Okay, whose idea was that? Well, it was actually both of ours because we were thinking about like, getting rid of it permanently over time. Okay. Okay. And so you mail it to your house, and who gets it out of the mail? You, her, or your mom? Or? Uh, I must have tried to get it in. He didn't know that's what it was. What did he do with it? He uh, just told me that uh, Pepe said to uh, me, and she would walk up, upstairs with it, and uh, his name was fine. Okay, they didn't even have a clue. Yeah. Okay. And so, did you take it, the knife out of the package, or did you leave it in the package? Leave it in the package. And then, so, so you guys decided, oh, we'll hide it in the closet. Yeah. Okay. And then, so where did you hide it at in the closet? Um, the last place that I put it before here was uh, it's in the deep uh, deep corner. I was trying to see if I can think of it. Okay. How about this? Like I'm looking at your. Let's say me and you are standing here looking at that, and that's your closet. Okay. Um, it would be in the deep uh, right corner okay. of the closet. So if I'm in your closet, it would go to the deep right corner, like yep. that. Okay. Is it it's still in the package? The package not open? Yep. Okay. And um, what do you mean, like, right before you came here? So did, did something happen to make you want to move it from one spot to another? Yeah, so I thought it was not safe where it was. Okay, so where was it the first time? The first time it was uh, just on top of one of my shelves in the uh, closet. Okay. And it, was, and it was visible, so that's what made me want to move it. Okay, and so you just moved it back there? Yeah. Okay. And, um, um, so you did that. So what did you guys do with your clothes? Um, uh, she didn't really have to worry about anything with, uh, Hers because none got on her. Okay. But uh, for me, I uh, I haven't even washed the clothes yet. Okay. You haven't washed them? No. Where are they at? They're in my duffel bag still. In your bedroom? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of duffel bag do you have? Can we talk about that already? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. Um, so the clothes are is still in the duffel bag in the bedroom. Yes. Okay. Um, and your shoes are in your bedroom. Yes. Okay. So, um, okay, so you, do you guys just wear these clothes on the bus ride? Um, do you change or? Uh, we did change. Uh, I mean, each day, since I had the three days worth of clothes, I did change each day. Okay. And then uh, the last uh, pair that I had of clothes or outfit, I guess we call it, I just wear that on the bus and read the bus the entire way there. Okay. Um, did you guys ever go to a Waffle House to eat? Yes. Okay, because I thought she said that, that you guys went to Waffle House and eat. Yep. Um, and is that Waffle House close to the hotel in Spring- there in Springfield, Missouri? It's right next to it. Right next to it, okay. And you remember what day it was that you guys went there, or what time it was? All I know is really early in the morning, mm-hmm. and uh, actually I might even go at a time. It was, I would say about maybe like around 8 a.m., I would say. Okay. And uh, the only reason I remember this so well is because uh, I learned, uh, not really learned, it's more like we learned it, that uh, she is, uh, what is it, uh, I'm trying to think of the one is it when you uh, are, uh, you can't drink milk, what is that called? Uh, uh, lactose intolerance? Yes, that's what she is. Okay. Uh, so she, uh, okay. And so you relearned that that at this restaurant? Yeah, she did that oh. on me. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so, um, you eat at that restaurant. Do you remember what you ordered? Uh, the, uh, I had a, uh, it was like a steak and cheese omelet is what I ate. Okay. I didn't eat really much of anything else that, that I got on there. I think I had like a, a, a raisin uh, toast. Okay. Raisin toast. And then, um, what else I'm trying to think here? Uh, I, I ate a little of uh, hash browns also. Okay. Um, at that, when you were at that restaurant, was that the day that, that morning that you guys, or that you killed D, or was that the um, next day, or what day was that? Uh, that's the only day I don't remember. I don't remember the exact day. Okay. I don't remember the time. Okay. Um, but would it be fair to say that it was either the 9th, 10th, 11th, somewhere in there? Somewhere in there. Okay. Okay, so, um, okay, so you did that. Um, what day did you guys leave to come back here? The 12th. The 12th, okay. And that was the whole ticket thing that you couldn't yep. get the ticket? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let's talk about this. When did you, like when you came to Springfield, you went ahead and got the hotel. Is that right? Before you went? How did you get from the hotel to her house? By a taxi. Okay. So you had a taxi pick you up at the hotel and drop you off at her house? Yes. And what day was that? Do you remember? It was in the morning. I believe it was on the time if I'm not mistaken. Okay. On the morning. So you went there. And um, is that the day that you killed Dee? Yes. At the same time? So the, so the taxi brings you from the hotel to her yeah. house. And what's Dee doing? Does she care that you're there? She, she is not even aware that, that I'm there because she is sleeping at the time. Okay, so do you go into the house, or does Gypsy come outside, or how does she that work? She lets you in the house? Yes. Okay. Did you ever go in that shed? Shed. There's like a shed on that property? Oh, there. no. Okay, did you go in there? Did you ever get in their vehicle? No. That vehicle there? So, so you get dropped off by the taxi, and Gypsy lets you in? Yep. Okay. And when you get there, do you already know that you're going to kill Dee? I, I, I pretty much... At that point, I'm, uh, I made my mind up that it's the only option at that point. Okay. So I just went right for it, and I had a, a latex load on and something like that. Okay. So I uh, tried to hide my fingerprints. Okay. Did you bring the latex gloves? No, but she uh, provided them for me. Okay. So when you get there, you put the gloves on? Yes. Okay, you put the gloves on outside the house or inside the house? Inside the no, house. Uh, it was outside my house, but I, as I was walking in, I had them just... So did you ever talk outside before you went in the house? I, I did uh, whisper, because it, it was part of our plan, and, and she's the one that thought of that part okay. of the plan. Okay. I told her to get her butt into the bathroom, because that's what she wanted to do. I had okay. her out there to get to her right away, because I wanted to get this over and get out of there as soon as possible. Okay, so when you get there, she has the latex gloves or the gloves. What color are they? Um, they're like, uh, it's like a cross between like a, a bluish green. It's, like, okay. it's almost like a turquoise color. Almost like okay. So Did she give you one glove, two gloves? Two. Two. Okay. So you put the gloves on, and then what do you do? Um, after that, uh, she hands me the knife, and then uh, I take her out. Now, does she have gloves on her hands when she hands you the knife? Or not? <coughs> her fingerprints are on the knife. Her fingerprints will be on the knife? Yes. Okay. So she didn't have gloves on then, huh? Yes. Okay. So, so she hands you the knife. Yes. And then, then what happens? Then she uh, goes straight to the bathroom, locks the door, and she waits for my signal and all that. Everything's clear. And the signal was the three knocks and two scratches. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, did you make her shave her legs in her vagina? Did you tell her that she wanted her to go in there and shave her legs in her vagina? I think it was a combination of both of us. Okay. But I mean, I wanted her to. Right. I'll be honest, I did want her to. Okay. But I think she wanted to do it also because she wanted to make sure that she pleased me, made me happy. Okay. So, yeah. So, what kind of sex do you like? Like, what kind of sex do you like to have? Is it sex like that's where it's the hugging and kissing sex? Or is it the sex where it's a little bit rough? Or is it the sex that you are really violent? Um, me and her, uh, that's actually, 
thing that is even about the button that she asked me that because um, me and her are like an experiment in between of uh, those, pretty much all three of those. Things, okay. And uh, uh, the only thing is, is that she knows that I'm not a hitter. Okay. So even uh, with uh, like me getting really, really rough to her, it may hurt. She has gotten better and better at adjusting to it. Okay. To the point she actually enjoys it. Okay. So, yeah. When you say really, really rough, what does that mean? Meaning almost to the point it's where it's kind of rough. Okay, so um, I can't assume or guess anything. So when you say violent or rough, is that is what what happens to make that like that? Like, I, are you biting her? Are you punching her? Are you? Oh no, I no, would never lay my hand on her. Okay, are you choking her? Are you pinching her? Uh, no, I would not pinch her either. Okay, see, I don't understand. I don't understand what it is. You have to explain it to me. What what rough is? Um, I, I didn't even bite her at all, actually. That that for a long time that is. Um, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, it, it was pretty much the point where I would use all my force into her, pretty much. That's the way to put it. Like thrusting into her? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, would, would um, there be any reason that she would have bruises on her arms or her legs? Yes, because uh, she wanted me to mark my territory. Okay, mark your territory. Yeah. She asked you to mark your territory? Yeah, she actually, uh, well, the first time... You know it's okay if, you, if you're if you the one that asks. You don't think that, that there's no crime there. If you add, if you're the one that's wanting to do this and she's agreeing to it, there's no problem with that. So there's no need for you to, like, don't, don't lie to me and say, oh, well, no, she wanted it. If she didn't, it's okay if you wanted it. I know, I know, okay. but, I'll, I'm not, but I'm just telling you how, how it actually was. Okay. Which was, um, the very first time she was in the ear, uh, that that was a turn on her as a buddy. Okay. And that's when I bit, not part of her, was it a buddy dog? Is that all? Oh my gosh, because I only, I only remember that I bit her twice. Okay. The first time I can't remember, and the second time I can't remember though because I bit her a lot harder in the second time. Okay. However, uh, she seems to still enjoy it, even though it was really hard. Okay. So, we were going to talk about how she got these bruises on her arm and her legs. Yeah. How did that happen? When you're marking your territory, how are you marking your territory? Well, when, um, well, her, oh, her arm seems to have bruises. Well, that, the one I have, see if I can remember exactly where one was. One was right here. This is where I bit her. I know for a fact, so I'm like on this side of Okay. I'm thinking correctly. Okay. Yeah, it's on that side. It, it's permanent. Um, okay. And then I, uh, I think I was trying to give her hickeys on her body as well. Okay. That's the other thing I was trying to do. Okay. And how about her knees or her legs? Why would there be any bruises there? It must have been because she was crawling on the ground when she was trying to think of everything. That's okay. actually where that came from. Okay. Did you make her crawl on the ground? Was that a turn on for you? Or? Um, there, well, at first, uh, I asked her to do it because it was a turn on. Okay. And uh, they did a turn on, but after that, uh, she just did it because she found it easier to clean the suits at a uh, perfect high level to be able to find uh, all that she had to clean up. Was okay. Easy. Why she was naked? Yeah. Was okay. Naked, yes. Okay. All right. So, just so we understand each other. Like, if you tell me that you made her do something sexual, I, that's not going to bother me, okay? okay? So be honest with me. Okay. If, if that's a turn on, if, if the things we talk about is a turn on and that's how that something's happened, that's okay. We can talk about that, okay? okay. So, just like that with her knees. You, you you told her to do that, right? Yeah, at first I, I told her to do it because I, I, I was telling her it was, uh, something that would be a turn on and when she actually did it, it did turn on. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, do you, do you think it would be a turn on to have sex with her mom? Mm. No? Okay. Um, because I think one of the things that she might have said was that you had mentioned that you'd like to rape her mom. Yeah, at, at one point I was thinking about it. Okay. I did actually mention that I was thinking about it, but then I changed my mind because I, I felt bad for just the whole situation of having to kill her mom in general. Okay. So I decided to just. Okay. How long do you think it was that you were stabbing her? Maybe five minutes, maybe. Okay. Okay. 
And did she act, did he ever get an opportunity to punch you or hit you or anything? She was trying to grab onto me, but I was able to get myself free to finish. And I think you said that she had a nightgown on or something like that. Yeah. Uh, did she have any panties on? No. Okay. And how do you know she didn't have any panties on? Because uh, that's the last thing I saw before I got off her body and Okay. Okay, so was you actually physically up on her body when you were stabbing her? Yeah, I was. Or was you standing on the side of the bed? Like, if this is a bed and she's laying here, how were you on her? Can you I, I was not actually, uh, like, on the side of her. Okay. I was actually on top of her. Let's make it about her trying to resist. Okay. Yeah. So, are, are you, like, straddling her, or how that's, is that? Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. I was actually on top of her, on top of her back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when you're stabbing her, you're stabbing her with one hand or two yeah, hands. One hand. What do you say? Okay, one hand. Okay. Um. So was she wiggling, like trying to get away from you? Or? Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She did try to uh, put up a fight. Yes. Okay. Did you tell her who you were, or did you say anything to her? Well. Um. Yeah. Actually, I did. What did you say? Thing, the thing was, is that. It was a, a different form of myself, though. Okay, it's not like how you are. The thing is, is that uh, I don't know if she told you, uh, I don't know how much she told you about me, but the me you're talking to right now is my normal good self, and that's the reason I feel like good that I do. Okay. But the one who actually did all this, the thing is, I originally, the good side of me, originally. Okay. But, uh. I think one of the things he said was stop resisting you know you're dead. Okay. I think that's one of the other things he said. Well, it's you that's saying it. I know, I know, but it's, it's the, the thing is, is that I have You just got me. angry. You know, the one person inside me is actually multiple personalities of myself. Have you been diagnosed with that? I probably should be diagnosed with it because it just happens. The thing is, I used to take a medication because okay. I used to hear voices in my head. Okay. But when I went away, then it somehow has hurt myself. Okay. So does Gypsy know that? Yes. Okay. She does know that. Okay. Because some people use that as an excuse to cover up for the bad things that they do. So if that's what you're doing, that probably no, isn't a good idea. Not that's, not, that's not being a man and standing up and, and, and doing what's right if you're going to... Do well, that's, the, like I said, I told her, I would, I, my, part of me, you're talking about the good part of me, I refused to do it. And I told her either... Well, it is the good part of you what got you on a bus and brought you to... Well, it was, uh, you yeah, know, it was to actually see her, but as for the killing part, that was solely my evil side. Okay. Solely. I agree with you, that's your evil side, but I don't know how, I don't know, I mean, your evil side was with you when you made the decision to get on the bus and yeah, come exactly. to the Supreme Court. I agree with you on that. Okay. I agree with you on that. Okay. And your evil side was with you whenever you decided to clean up your blood from yeah. the house, okay? Yeah. But, and now you didn't kill Gypsy, so your good side must have been there too, because you didn't kill Gypsy, because you love her, right? Actually, it's because uh, the gypsy likes to call it about uh, her more on uh, just in her mom didn't really know about this side of her, but she has an evil side of herself as well. She likes to call her uh, Ruby. That's what she likes to call her. Okay. But um, one of the things he said to her is never get between me and Ruby, is what he said. Because uh, I guess that there's more than one of the sides of each other that is uh, in love with each other. So, I got one uh, side of her, his name is Kitty, it's like a little girl inside of her. Um, you got uh, another one called Candy. Is this, wait a minute, is this like some kind of sex thing that you guys do? No. Okay, so when you guys have sex with each other, are you Nick and she's Gypsy? Pretty much, but the thing is that uh, we don't remember. And sometimes we might not remember. But the thing is that only experience my evil side coming out one time to actually do what happened. Oh, okay, so this is the first time you experienced the evil side coming out. Was yeah. actually what you did on yeah. that night. Okay, yeah. so your evil side hasn't came out before and caused you to do anything? No, nothing like that. Okay, just, just this one time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
And how old are you again? 26. 26. So in 26 years, your evil side never came out and hurt anybody or did anything else except for on this night. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the ways that you guys communicated. I know you said that you communicated on that Christian website, and you guys created, communicated on Facebook, and then you said you created, communicated Yahoo in your text messages. You right. Okay. Um, so, one thing that I do know is that there were some Facebook posts um, put on that were that were kind of explaining that somebody got hurt. You kind of know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? On D's web, or Facebook? Yeah, D's and uh, uh, Gypsy's uh, yeah. Facebook. Okay, so who posted those things on there? I didn't even know the password until she's on there. I know it. It's only when she did post it. Okay, do you know what they say? Um, I read it, but I don't know what it says. Okay. So, you didn't post them on there? No. Okay. Did she post them on there? Yes, she did. Okay, why did she do that? I think she wanted to speed up the process. Speed up what process? The process of, uh, uh, authorities being involved and everything else. Okay. Did you know she made those posts before she made them? Uh, she kind of surprised me. Okay, and how did that happen? Um, uh, she showed me it just after she posted it, like, what the heck? Is she kind of freaking out? Okay. Uh, and I didn't do anything really about it. That was Did your evil side come out then? No. No? Okay. Um, so, you, um, she posts them. Are you in the same room with her when she does it, or are you still yeah. different? No, I said, You're in the same room with her? Yeah. And then, so, she makes the post. And then, obviously, you've seen all those people responded to that. Yeah. Okay, did you do any of those posts? How about the one about killing and raping or no. whatever? You didn't do that? No. Okay. She, I think she only posted that to actually get everyone's attention. Why? Because apparently the first uh, post that she was or not posting, or was it posted? I don't even know what it was posted. I just don't remember what she told me. Okay. Um, did you actually look at it with your eyes, the post? I didn't get to see the posters. That's the thing. Oh. That's the reason why I can't remember it that well. Okay. She just told you about it. Yeah. Because apparently the first ones that she posted on was taken seriously. Okay. So she had to be more aggressive, and that's what she said was good. Okay. Okay. And what, what, I don't understand what she was hoping to gain. Like, what was she wanting to happen as a result of that? I think she just wanted to get uh, past this uh, moment. Oh, okay. She wanted it to be a distant memory. Okay. Did she suspect that if she did something like that, we would investigate it and come and speak to you guys about it? Uh, did you guys ever discuss that? I think we both did, but we didn't understand exactly how to deal with it to the point we would get caught. I think that's another reason why we're easily caught. But, yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you were easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you feel like she was easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you think that if, if Gypsy hadn't asked you to kill her mom, you'd ever kill her mom? I know I wouldn't have done it. Okay. You just did it because you loved Gypsy and Gypsy asked you to do it. Yes. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes. Okay. Or what? Does that what I understand? <laughs> okay. Sorry to confuse you. Um, okay. So, um, where is your bedroom at in that house that you that they arrested you in? It was uh, uh, upstairs. Okay. So if I walk through the front door of your house, where do I go? Uh, you go... Um, you turn, uh, take a turn right. Okay, right so I come in front door, make a right. And when you turn right, you'll see uh, stairs, you walk up the stairs, you turn uh, left, and the room right at the end is where the room is. Okay, so I come in front door, make a right, go up the stairs, make a left. And then go uh, straight uh, to the last room that's right in front of you. Okay. That's right. What's your room decorated like? Um, I don't It's supposed to be my mom's room. Uh, yeah, my mom's room uh, after a while because they were supposed to be building a room for me in the basement. Okay. So it's purple. Purple? Okay. Yeah, purple. And uh, is it the only purple room in the house? Uh, no, I believe you. there's another one which is uh, where my mom's room is right now. Is that upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. So your room would be the only purple room upstairs? Yep, upstairs. Okay. okay. Um, did you guys hide anything else? Um, Yes, actually we did. Okay, what is that? We uh, hid uh, um, the 
Australians of uh, Tishy and her mom saved up together. Right, okay. Um, where did you guys hide that at? Uh, we put it back into her uh, backpack. Okay, so all, that, all the money's in her backpack. Yeah. And where did you guys get that money at from the house? Uh, it was uh, in a uh, dresser drawer. Okay. And it was in a pouch. In a pouch in the dresser drawer? Yeah. Was the dresser drawer in Dee's room or Gypsy's room? Uh, Dee's room. Dee's room. And is it in a dresser like that has a lot of, dress, lot of drawers or one drawer or two drawers? One drawer. Okay. So the dresser has one drawer? Yeah. Okay. And where is that located at in the bedroom? If I remember, we walk into the bedroom. It should be right on the right side. Okay. Yeah, it should be right in front of you. Okay. There was a safe in Dee's room, wasn't there? Um, I believe there was, but I, it seemed like somehow most of the money someone did to get out of the safe or something. So you had a lot of money. Okay. When you say a lot of money, what's a lot of money? Thousands. Thousands? Is, do you still have thousands? Uh, we barely didn't use them even after. Okay. Um, okay, when you guys were in Springfield, I'm sorry I'm jumping around, but I'm afraid that I'll forget to ask you something. Um, when you guys were in Springfield, I know that you say you went to um, Waffle House. Yes. And you ordered pizzas. Yes. Did you go to a Walmart? Uh, yes. Okay. And when did you go to a Walmart? Um, we went to Walmart. Oh, we went to Walmart. It was uh, the day before we were supposed to leave. So okay. So we went to Walmart. Yes. Okay. What did you guys get at Walmart? Um, uh, I got a, 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 I know I had at least, to be like on the safe side, I for sure I had at least one, two liter of uh, 7-Up. Okay. And I also got a condom, and she wanted me to also get, uh, what else did she want me to get? That is a fire, uh, oh, lip balm. That's okay. what it was. Uh, did she go to the store with you, or? Not with you or? No, she didn't want to start with you. She had friends in there. She would uh, ask uh, her if, if, if she was a gypsy, is that you? Yeah. She would okay. be afraid of it. Okay. Um, and so did you go to Walmart once or more than once? Uh, more than once. Okay. And did you go to the same Walmart? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that Walmart located by the hotel? It's pretty close to the hotel. Do you walk there or did you ride in a cab or something different? Um, with her, I had to ride in a cab. Okay. So they have them pick you up, take you to Walmart, and they bring you back? Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you go anywhere else in Springfield? Um, we did uh, go to the post office, too. Okay. And is the post office by the hotel or somewhere different? Uh, I can't remember the name of the street. It's um, okay. it's not somewhere close to the hotel. I guess it was the closest one to the hotel. What did, did the cab come and you said, take me to the post office? Yeah, we uh, asked the cab driver to take us to the closest one that was to the hotel. Okay. You said one time that you were in room, what, 227? Yeah. Did you ever stay in a different room? Yes. Okay, what room was that? The one right next to 226. 226. And why did you switch rooms? Because we ended up um, uh, checking out and we didn't uh, realize that okay. uh, the whole bus situation happened and that's why it turned into what it did. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so... What was your plan with the money that you guys took? Um, uh, we were going to use it as a savings to uh, pretty much uh, get whatever we needed to uh, set up. So we were really going to just use it as a, how do you describe it? Like an estate type thing? Well, it was more like to like uh, help each, uh, each other uh, build up and save more. And, okay. Yeah. Like, pretty much everything. How did you know where the money was at in T-shirt? She told me. Okay, did you get it um, before you killed Dee or after you killed Dee? After. Okay, and she told you which drawer it was? Yep. Did she ever come into the bedroom? She, she just refused, no matter okay. what, she refused. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and your clothes are still in your duffel bag, we talked about that. Yep. Um, we sure talked about a lot. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this might be a good time for me. Now I gotta remind you of what you told 
at the first recess of the court. On duty, you retire to consider your verdict. You must not discuss this case among yourselves or the parties, or permit anyone to discuss it in your hearing. You should not form or express any.